What is prehistory? The earliest period of human history for which we have no written record is known as prehistory. It is the story of man's life before he learned to read or write. Our knowledge of prehistoric people is based on clues like tools, cave paintings, bones, etc. that were left behind. What is history? History is the study of that period of our past for which we have written records. It is a recorded account of events, people and places from the past in a chronological order. Herodotus, the father of history. Herodotus, a Greek historian who lived in the 5th century, 484 BCE to 425 BCE, is referred to as the father of history. He was the first historian who systematically collected his material and arranged them in a chronological order. How to count years? Birth of Jesus Christ is the year zero for counting dates. Historians use the terms BC before Christ to refer to events that took place before the birth of Christ. Historians use AD, Anno Domini, to refer to the events that took place after the birth of Christ. These days, however, instead of BC, the historians use the term BCE before Common Era. The term CE, Common Era, is used instead of AD, Anno Domini. Timeline Events of the past can be shown on the timeline also. 2000 BCE, 1500 BCE, 1000 BCE, 500 BCE, 0, 500 AD, 1000 AD, 1500 AD, and 2000 AD. Sources of History History is based on certain records of the past, known as the Sources of History. Sources of History Archaeological Sources Monuments Inscriptions Coins Artifacts Literary Sources Religious Literature Travelers' Accounts Secular Literature Archaeological sources Jewelry and beads Archaeological sources include rock shelters, fossils, caves, monuments, pottery, tools, jewelry, beads, coins and inscriptions, burial grounds, pillars, etc. Monuments include the forts, palaces, temples and buildings built by the rulers in the past. Excavations The excavations at various sites of Harappan civilization gives us valuable information about the 5,000-year-old Indus Valley civilization. Artifacts At the excavation sites, the archaeologists find man-made objects like pottery, vessels, stone tools, jewelry, coins, and sculptures, paintings, etc., made or used by the people of ancient civilizations. These objects are called artifacts. The presence of metal jewellery indicates the level of scientific advancement. Cave paintings throw light on the type of clothes they wore, their culture and their social and religious customs. 
bones of animals, birds and fish help us to find out what people ate in the past. Coins Engravings on the coins found during excavations in the sites of ancient civilizations give us information about the kings, the names and dates of dynasties that have ruled in that area, the extent of their kingdom, the language, life, and economic condition of the kingdom. Inscriptions and Edicts Inscriptions on the hard surfaces like pillars, cave walls, stones, walls of temples and monuments, copper or clay tablets, often have names and dates of the kings and records of their victories in battles. Edicts are the commands issued by the rulers. Literary Sources Histories based mainly on written records, such as manuscripts, books, writing on the rocks, pillars, stone walls, clay tablets, barks of trees and palm leaves. Manuscripts Manuscripts mean the handwritten records. People in ancient times used to write on surfaces like barks of trees, known as bhojpatras, palm leaves, scrolls, and later on, paper. Three categories of literary sources. Religious literature. Religious literature of Hindus includes the four Vedas, the two epics, the Ramayana and the Mahabharata, the Bhagavad Gita, the Aranyakas and the Upanishads. The Buddhist literature includes the Jatakas, Tripitakas, Mahavamsa and Dipvamsa. The Chan literature includes the Angus. Secular or historical literature. Secular literature includes non-religious biographies, autobiographies, plays, poems, memoirs, chronicles, writings on politics, law and medicine, etc. Accounts of Travellers Travellers' accounts of their journeys and the lands they visited are an important source of understanding the past. Influence of Geography on History Geography of India has influenced the history of India. The Himalayas in the north, a natural barrier have protected our country from invaders from the north. The passes in the northwest served as the trade routes for traders from Central Asia. Invaders and travelers also entered the country through these passes. Movements of people over several hundreds of years enriched our cultural traditions. Since southern India is surrounded by sea on three sides, many rulers in the south had strong navies. They established trade relations with many countries.